Hey folks, it is Wednesday. It is time for Hump Day IY and we've got some really fun, easy and cheap projects. In fact, we are upcycling today. All you wine drinkers out there, I hope you're saving your bottles. If you don't drink wine and you're going to a party, just take the empty bottles home with you. Um, but like rinse them out and put them in your trunk in case you get pulled over because you don't want to <laughs> be going through that stuff. Don't drink and drive folks. Okay, so here's the deal. I have um, taken some of my empty bottles of wine and uh, prepped them for craft time. So basically you take the bottle of wine. I, how I get the labels off is I soak them in hot water. So I'll just fill up like a little tub and put the bottles in there and let them soak. And then the labels pretty much peel off. Now there's usually like a residue. Sometimes I use like some kind of fork or um, like a Brillo pad to kind of rub into the label and that helps to loosen it up. The residue that's on there, I use Goo Gone to just wipe it down. The first project we're gonna do is a classic look. This is uh, one that I actually use in my house. I have these white wine bottles all over the house that I purchased some, um, I guess it would be a cranberry, like a red berry sprig mm. years ago. So I don't even use fresh flowers for these. It's something that I can just pull out each and every year. They still look good and you can move them around the house and just give a nice little holiday pop. So we took one bottle and spray painted it white. It's cold outside. You may not want to be out there spray painting. You could always just use like a white um, acrylic paint or whatever white paint that you have at home. So I've got this one sprayed and ready to go. It already looks, you know, a little nicer than just your plain old bottle. And this is super simple. Um, all I'm going to do is add pom-poms to the top of the bottle just to give it a little, a little something, a little zhuzh. So we're going to put that on there. It's double your donation day here at the station. So we've got a lot of people. Um, so you may hear some of those folks walking around because we have volunteers right now that are taking people's calls donating money to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. And for every dollar that is donated today, and we are recording this on, what day of the week is this? December 11th. This is a Wednesday. So if you're watching <laughs> another day, you can't call in. But if you're watching today and you want to donate to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank, um, the number to call is 614-821-4444. So when we get done with our DIY project, if you're feeling generous, like you want to make a difference this holiday season, that is a great way to do it. Okay, so we're gonna keep just wrapping this. I gotta put another glue stick in. I'm getting low on my stick. It's a big glue stick. And we'll wrap it around. Now you could wrap the whole bottle. This would be really cute, kind of like a candy cane look, which is fun. You could use different colors. You could use different type of tinsel. It really just depends on what your look is. For my house, I would use a lot of red because I love to use garland. Um, so I'll do like a lot of red and white and then I'll add some like greenery around it So, you know, I'm basing this bottle off of what I do at my own home, but you know live your life. It's cute Live your life how you want to live it and I'm kind of just going around here I'm trying not to put too much glue on because it will seep out and then you've got Glue on your bottle, which is okay, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. All right So I've got that sufficiently wrapped and then you just cut it. I mean, this is like seriously the quickest, easiest thing. Now, I wanna show you something else that could be super cute. All right, so we're gonna take this finished bottle. I'll show you, um, you know, what you could do to it right now. Be done with it. Jill helped me out with some of our <laughs> old poinsettias that we had. I like to say poinsettia. What do you say, Laura? Uh, poinsettia. Poinsettia, I like yeah. to say poinsettia. Bob, what do you Setia. say? <laughs> uh, I say poinsettia. I do too. Liz, Liz McGiffin's back there too. What do you say? I, I yeah, where is Liz? Poinsettia, but I feel like poinsettia feels very fancy. You're on right? Facebook Live. I mean, it's kind of like I say pecan, but I'm not upset about pecan either. Yeah. Yeah, I say pecan. I say pecan. I say pecan. Yeah. You're the odd one out, Monica. I am definitely a pecan girl. <laughs> All right, so poinsettia, poinsettia, whatever it is, you can cut one off. Drop it in there Oop, as the leaves, as the leaves <laughs> as they down. fall apart. Um, but there you go. Like you have just like Aww. a really cute. And what I do on my dining room table is I line three of these up and then it's just like a really pretty presentation. 
Um, but it's very you know, elegant. Live, live how you want to live, right? I think it is elegant. It's like really it's kind cute. of fun. All right, now we're gonna take it from elegant to cutesy, because <laughs> a lot of people like cutesy, cutesy during the holidays. Are you an elegant or cutesy type of person? Um, it depends. I like stuff that looks kind of like Americana. Yeah. You know, a mm -hmm. little crafty, but like not, usually not too cutesy. Yeah. But this, I just thought, this is too cute. So you take the white and you could wrap it with the pom-poms or you could just wrap it with like um, some ribbon because essentially what you're going to be making is a scarf with that top portion there. And then we're going to take the glue and we're just going to do three. I just made a big glue, <laughs> a big glue line. I'll pull that off after. Three little dabs. We're going to apply some pom-poms. And look what we did. That is cute. Hello, Frosty. Oh, my God. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that's adorable. Here, Laura, you can take this home and put it at your house. I'll take it home. Isn't that cute? So that's fun. And then you could put, like, whatever sprig coming out of the top. And, you know, Frosty would have, like, a, a cute little floral hat of some sort. So that's fun. Next up, I love this. You are all about that tinsel. I love tinsel. I think there's something fun about tinsel garland. Like it's so tacky. <laughs> this is like the tacky. It is tacky. Like, I'm sorry. If you use this in your house and you think like, oh, it's so gorgeous. This can be such used in such a tacky way. And mm -hmm. I just think tacky things are fun. Um, so, so we are going to just take a plain bottle. And I am gonna lay some glue on here because I think you guys know where we're going. Gotta act fast. Because I'm gonna wrap this sucker in this tinsel garland. Stop it, stop. Look at this holiday festivity. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm using the silver, you know why? Because Hanukkah, honey, Get your blues, get your silvers, get your whites. We're celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah. We are not leaving people out. We're doing all the holidays. Hanukkah <laughs> and holiday crossover, or uh, Hanukkah and Christmas crossover this year. So, you know, you could be taking this stuff to whatever party you're going to. Festivus, you know, I don't know. Do your thing. Do all the things. Okay, so we're just going to keep wrapping it around. Apply the glue, wrap it around. Look at this little firecracker of fun. And if you wanted to do this, like say you wanted to take a bottle of wine, and now I'm just gonna kind of run a line down. Yeah, it seems easier. Here, because now we're on this like straight area. Just gotta do it fast. Yeah, you gotta do it fast. Which is easy, because it's a bottle, and all you're doing is turning it. Well, that is cute, actually. How cute, Thought it was right? gonna look tacky for a second, and I'm well, like, no. I mean, it is that tacky, is well, like in a really fantastic way. Yeah. In such a jolly, jolly way. Gotta be a little bit tacky on right? Christmas. Come on. Tacky it up. Um, if you wanted to do this, say you're giving someone a bottle of wine. And it's a cheap bottle. <laughs> Covered in tinsel. I wouldn't use hot glue because I have to be honest with you. I don't know. Maybe you could use hot glue, but like heat and wine mm. you want to avoid. Um, so I would in that case use like a super strong, just basic craft glue, like a uh, tacky glue or... I mean, I guess you could do super glue, but you would risk gluing your finger off. Um, epoxy, something like that, that won't affect the temperature of the wine. That would be my recommendation, because I just don't know. <laughs> I mean, this looks really, like, I don't think people can tell how, like, fantastic this looks, like, not yeah, on camera. I don't know if it's, we don't know if it's reading its true beauty online. I might um, do that with my wine bottles. Right? But, there, like, there we go. And you're done. And you're done. So... Like, put this on your table, take it to your house. I don't know, you know, like, how is much easier. <laughs> We're going next level here. Next level fun. Um, but if you've got that cheap bottle of wine, that two-buck chuck has never looked better than wrapped in tinsel and handed to, to, to someone. Just don't tell them it's a cheap bottle of wine. They'll never know. What are they going to do? Pull the tinsel off and read the label? <laughs> Come on. Slash Throw it on the ground. Wine is wine. It's the holidays, people. Super, super fun. This next one I'm obsessed with. I love pom-poms. I think you guys know this. I have a pom-pom, a thing for pom-poms. Like, it's like kind of a problem. Right now I have a lot of pom-pom garland going on in my house. Like, Really? A lot. I love pom-poms. Maybe we should do a tour of your house. Probably. My sisters and I 
loves pom-poms. Our brother probably likes pom-poms too. I don't know. How about that? <laughs> but um, so I have just taken a bunch of different size pom-poms and I've incorporated a few different colors of green in there. We got the red and the white and you are just going to put some glue in a space Then you're going to take a pom-pom and you're just going to keep filling in the spaces with the pom-poms. There's no right or wrong way to do this, folks. We are just pom-poming it up all over this bottle. And you will just keep doing this all the way head to toe on the bottle. Now you could just do the bottom part like I had and have the top part painted, which would be nice too if you don't want to go full pom-pom. And I don't know why you wouldn't want to go full pom-pom. It's beyond Monica. Yeah. Super easy. Oh, by the way. Super cute. Yes. Your Amazon package has shipped. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. good. Those are Christmas presents for um, my nieces and nephews. Sean's nieces and nephews are brother and uh, Sean's brother and his wife have three beautiful children and we have sent them some stuff. So no. something for them has shipped, which is great. All right. So you get the idea. We just would keep going all the way up with pom-poms just go pom-pom crazy what's everybody saying is anybody watching laura saying hi to us today? yeah kim has assured us that the hot glue uh isn't hot enough to bother the wine in the bottle oh, okay or safe that's good news yeah because i wasn't sure you know um so that's great news i still wouldn't chance it with a nice bottle but lord you got that two buck chuck roll the dice baby roll <laughs> the dice why not and that charles shaw that can be some good stuff yeah. you guys know what i'm talking about get out there it doesn't have to be expensive. Shoot, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> True. I mean, I mean, have you ever been upset about getting a bottle of wine? Never. Exactly. I'm never like, oh, oh, that's not good enough. Mm -mm. I'm just like, where's the opener? Yeah, exactly. Let's, yeah. let's open it now. Let's pop it open. What are we at work? Let's do it. No. Just kidding. <laughs> JK, in case our, our boss is watching. All right, but you get the picture. We're just going to keep covering this big boy with some um, pom-poms, giving it that little bit of spirit all the way up to the top and a beautiful little holiday edition. All right, guys, so that is our upcycling DIY segment for your wine bottles, giving you a little bit of holiday decor. Next week, something super cute for the kids. We're going to be doing some felt projects um, and one in particular that I am so excited about. All right, so that is next week. Have a great week, everybody, and remember, save your wine bottles.